With his win over Derek Lewis, Daniel Cormier became the first fighter in UFC history to record successful title defenses in two weight divisions. And that makes him undeniably one of the greatest MMA fighters in history. So why are the UFC and Cormier pursuing Brock Lesnar to be his next opponent? Much like Brock's physical size advantage over just about everyone on the planet, this fight looks ridiculous. DC, who is one of the oldest fighters on the UFC roster, is younger, has 15 more pro fights, 17 more wins, eight more knockouts, and three more submissions, and that's just to start with. Lesnar has been performing as a pro wrestler with the WWE for the last seven years, coming out of retirement for one fight in 2016. That was a three-round decision win against Mark Hunt, which was later overturned when the Beast Incarnate tested positive for a banned substance. And it gets worse. Lesnar hasn't won a pro MMA bout in eight years. His last three fights were two losses and a no contest. And he's just coming off a one-year suspension for cheating. Yet somehow, he gets the title shot instead of the only man who really deserves it. Stipe Miocic the single most successful heavyweight champion in UFC history, and the man who Cormier won the belt off. How doesn't he deserve a rematch? All-time greats like Frankie Edgar, Randy Couture, Joanna Young Joyjack, and Anderson Silva were all granted immediate title rematches, and Miocic is at least on their level in terms of history. But for Dana White and the top brass at the UFC, Stipe doesn't cut it where it counts the ability to draw money. And that's becoming a real problem for the sport. Conor McGregor held up multiple divisions for years because the UFC was more concerned with making money than him defending titles. Michael Bisping held up the middleweight division so that he could cash in on a rematch with a ranked 14, 46-year-old Dan Henderson. And now DC is forcing Stipe and the rest of the division to wait two squash matches and over a year before anyone who actually deserves a title shot can get it. And do you know what it stinks of? Boxing. It stinks of Floyd Mayweather and Canelo Alvarez and Gervonta Davis and really just about every champ in the game, all desperately holding on to their belts and the higher paychecks that come with them. What you end up with is a once great sport where the best rarely fight the best. And as we've seen in boxing, that's bad for long-term business because the majority of viewers tune out. But DC is going to get this fight because it will make him and the UFC a fortune. And to be honest, if it has to happen, then at least it's happening to DC. He's got one more fight before retirement. He's accomplished things no other champ has and he's had to repeatedly put up with the infamous John Jones. So fine, give DC his big payday and then quit it with the bogus matches for the sport's sake.